everybody. Glad to see you today. We've got a special guest today in the studio, Pastor Ben Strong. <laughs> Ben's an associate pastor, a worship leader, and a youth pastor at Concord Christian Center. First of all, how long have you been playing and how long have you been playing keyboards? Uh, I've been playing keyboards for about 15 years. Uh, I started playing. We were losing a keyboard player at church. It's a small church. My dad's a pastor. And uh, I knew what a chord was. I was playing the saxophone, playing some jazz. Started, Tell me what a chord is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, just started playing uh, some jazz and things like that. And I'd taken some piano lessons when I was like eight. Mm -hmm. But I learned the old hymn, Holy, 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 the traditional hymn. Learned it the traditional way. And uh, my dad walked out of his office on a Sunday afternoon when I first learned to play it. He said, you're going to play that tonight. Two weeks from then, uh, I was leading worship on Sunday morning with a band, playing and singing. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow, that's that's amazing. So he just basically picked you up, threw you into the pool, and said, "Start swimming." Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, we did. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Um, let me ask you, leading praise and worship. I mean, and your services are awesome. I've had the opportunity to be part of some of his praise and worship, and and it's always just so easy playing with you, Thanks. and and it just kind of he's the jazz guy, I'm the rock guy. But <laughs> let me tell you, it goes together just perfectly it like does. this. God will put all things together here. But what has leading praise and worship really meant to you, and and what how has it affected you in your life? Um, like when we talk about leading praise and worship. We really talk about uh, leading as an overflow, really, of what's going on on the inside of you. And, uh, you know, it, it certainly there takes some, some leadership ability to be the leader of a team and to coordinate. But for me, really, it means going along the spiritual journey with the congregation, just like if I were doing any other part in the church. Um, it's just kind of flowing along with where God's taking us, what God is doing in the people. And really, I think it's that spiritual journey, just being along for the ride mm -hmm. with, with our team and with the congregation. Wow. Well, you've kind of are keeping up to date here. I know you're using Ableton Live yeah, when yeah, you play and you're using click tracks. And a lot of people are probably interested in that. And we'll get into that a little bit later here. But since you are sort of a techie-oriented kind of guy here, uh, and you're using click tracks right, and, right. and loops and that sort of thing in the service. You've got a great keyboard. Uh, how important do you think technology plays in praise and worship now today? And do you think it's really relevant? Okay, I, I think that's a really good question. First of all, when it comes to technology, I fake most of it. <laughs> I just, I, I, I learn something, then I, I use that same thing a don't lot of times. Don't let them fool you, don't let them fool uh, you. No, um, you know, really, I think we were talking earlier, in, in, in the, sometimes there's kind of divide in, in the traditional church or more, more of a contemporary church on either, you know, should we even use technology or what role does it have? I would say uh, technology really... It, it can just be an enhancement of your instruments. You know, mm -hmm. if you play playing get, guitar, you maybe pull out some extra pedals, and in 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 really it expands your instrument. And sometimes technology, sometimes a computer generated stuff can be an extra instrument. Sure. Really. Sure. And uh, you know, it, it, it's just an expansion. I think of what God's already placed in our heart. Mm -hmm. You know. We, we encourage our team to expand, to, to constantly grow, regardless of what age you are, what instrument you play, to grow, learn more, learn more about in, your instrument. And that enables us, I really feel like, to flow better with the Holy Spirit and what He's leading, leading us to do in a specific service. So I think it really is just an expansion of what God's already placed in your heart or your mm -hmm. instrumental skills. Great, great. I agree. And, and you're mentioning that the technology is like an instrument, and I couldn't agree more because I always say the studio is an instrument. Yeah. You can get in there and write, and you can use the studio and get certain effects. So therefore, I would think you would probably agree with me that using this technology that you should have some skills and be comfortable just as you are with a keyboard player that you should become comfortable with the technology as well yeah, Don't yeah you yeah. agree yeah I'm, I'm for that you know i would encourage you as you expand you know as you you know again if you're a guitar player you may learn mm -hmm. some extra pedals or your keyboardist dig into your workstation a little bit find some extra sounds you know what works for you but i do encourage you to, before you, you you want to lead uh praise and worship you know be be very comfortable with it for us you know it's been a journey you know when we started playing with click track sure. we practiced long before we actually used how it in the service. Drummer, how does your drummer like click track? <laughs> I don't want to uh, put you drink now if your drummer's listening here I don't want to put him on the spot but how does your drummer like dealing with click tracks? You know I, I tell you what we we have a, a wonderful drummer Skip if you're watching man we love you. 
Skip is, is, you know, he's older than me. He's a different generation than I am. But we've been blessed because Skip's timing is nailing it. When we started using the clicks, he was right on the money. It really didn't affect him a bit. You know, we had to practice a little bit just to get used to hearing, you know, in our ears. We, we had to move to uh, headphone amps and in-ear monitors. He loves it, really. And, and now when we don't have it, like uh, the computer had to go in the shop the other day and we didn't have it for one service. And, it, we, you know, it's just so different. But but he, he's super. Where's my click? Where's yeah, my right, click? right. Yeah, that's what we're wondering. Click, click, click. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you're right. Well, I guess you'd have to agree then that, like I say, you're using this like an instrument, all the technology here, that you want to be comfortable enough with this, and there's no problem with this, but you still, this is all background. You you need to right. put this in the background. I always like to say that the praise, uh, praise team should be invisible, that you don't want to right. have distractions. So uh, if you have uh, timing errors and that sort of thing, if the drummer is playing out of beat, the congregation may just pick up on that. The, you know, they're they're concentrating on the drummer, and that really shouldn't shouldn't be the case. They should be concentrating on the Lord, because aren't you leading them into worship? And you want to use this technology to be as seamless as possible. I I think yeah, absolutely, and and I think I would also say the reverse, because some of you watching, you may be in a very contemporary setting, and some of you watching may. Um, be in a uh, traditional setting and say we're wanting to move that way. Mm -hmm. And so I would say, you know, again, you know, going back to being very comfortable with the technology, but I would also say as you're introducing it to your congregation, maybe it's something you don't do all the time, is to start small, you know, maybe just with one song mm -hmm. that the congregation knows really well and, you know, introduce some backing tracks or something like that. And to start small so that it doesn't become a distraction because I think sometimes technology could be as much of a distraction as a help. And so sure. that's why you, we were just really want to be spirit-led, be very comfortable with it, so it becomes part of us as an instrument. Mm -hmm. And I think you, you, were, you were saying that a while ago, how important is it that it becomes an instrument and becomes an enhancement to what we already do. That's great. That's great. Well, I think we really covered some things that are really important with praise and worship here as far as how the technology. A lot of you probably wonder, you know, is it really uh, okay to have some of this technology in praise and worship? Right, right. And, uh, or is that just kind of a, a feel-good kind of thing right, here? Right, right. Okay. At any rate, we're going to have Pastor Ben around for more videos, I know, because we've got a lot more to ask. I appreciate you stopping in today. Ben, you don't know how much I appreciate you coming out. And uh, we'll be back here. Subscribe to the channel, yes, and sir. we'll see you soon. All right. Yeah.